Hi Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. But that being said, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, um, or for the Cross Watchers. This can either apply for you or um, whoever you guys are, you know, stalking on the side, right? And with that being said, we're gonna go over your overall moon message when it comes to love, um, your current situation, how do you feel about the situation, um, your hopes and your fears, and then the ultimate outcome. So with that being said, Cancer, uh, let's go ahead and hop into your guys' reading. Please give me a message for Cancer in regards to love. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay, that's pretty dope. Especially for us Cancers, and I'm throwing my ass in there together because I'm mostly Cancer, but it's time for the hard shit to end for sure. What's the current situation for Cancer with love? Okay, Page of Pentacles, possibly dealing with a um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And I also feel like this is a little bit of a stalled energy. It's like time is ticking, but there's not a lot of movement, right? How does Cancer feel about this? The devil, kind of just sitting and waiting, attached to a situation. Again, that's definitely Capricorn energy. Um, can I ask a question? Thank you. Um, what is uh, Cancer's hopes or fears romantically? The situation. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Maybe you guys are um, dealing with a, uh, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And for your outcome, what's the overall outcome? For cancer with romance. So overall outcome for cancer. It's like we're not gonna tell you. One more time, please. With love and romance. Okay. Passion, allow your heart to sing with joy. All right, so there's your guys' outcome card. Um, based on what I'm seeing here, it, it, it's a lot of, um, obviously it's a lot of earth energy, right? Because you have the full moon in Capricorn, you have the pentacle, you have the devil here, and then we randomly have over here as our hopes and our fears, um, the queen of wands. So this could either be, you know, we're worried about another person coming in, or this is what we're hoping that things kind of take more of like an action type of way versus something that's stalled like this page of pentacles. I know this sounds bad, but honestly, like I hate the page of pentacles. That's one of the cards like I hate the most. I don't know why I just, you know, it's like the clock. It's like watching it, you know, watching the clock tick. Right. And I just, I don't know. That's just not for me. Um, Anyways, this card is really talking about, especially when it comes to relationships, like how hard are you willing to work, right? Um, it's also letting us know that in any type of relationship, hard work is required. And um, sometimes when we're trying to work through something um, and there's issues that are coming up, this card will also kind of present itself. It's like, you know, if you're wondering if you should leave a relationship or stay in a relationship, this card can definitely be a strong sign for you to exit stage left, but it's also, you know, asking you like, how ambitious are you? Like, is this relationship making logical sense? Is this something that's going to bring you, you know, joy from years and years, or is this something that you're just doing kind of like in the moment? Um, also too, when it comes to love, this card is like pretty much saying it's time to face reality and it is what it is. So I think a lot of times like we can fantasize about what something can be, but the reality is maybe it just doesn't have the, um, the inner workings to work out how we want in this lifetime, okay? Um, definitely it's time for us to release control and trust the universe. Um, also too, it is good for us at this point also with, with this card coming up, admit that we've probably been overly hard-headed um, or hard nose, and it is really time for us to find some type of balance um, with inside of our lives, okay? So that is a uh, full moon in Capricorn. Now let's go ahead and clarify the situation. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer's situation with love? 
okay the chariot so that's what i said i feel like there's a little bit of a stalled movement or things are not progressing as you like maybe there is some type of plan of seeing somebody um moving towards you know in a direction maybe it is a cancer but i do feel like this is you um where you know the time is ticking maybe it's coming up or there is some type of plan in place however it's just not a complete plan and i do feel like it has to do with a living situation or some type of arrangement especially with that four of wands maybe with an aries um or you know four of wands is uh venus and aries so this is definitely about you know how you found your found foundation where do you want your foundation where are you trying to you know plant that seed how does cancer feel about this or let me let me ask Where's the chariot going towards for cancer? Where's the chariot going towards for cancer? Okay, the ace of swords. So I do feel like this is also you having um, a level of realization with yourself and being honest with yourself what exactly what you need in order to have that forward movement. It also may be cancer too that it's time to leave something in the past that's not necessarily working out because the longer that we sit here, it's like time ticks down and there isn't any forward movement because it's still a page. There's nothing else here showing that this page of pentacles goes to the king of pentacles, right? It's very um, stagnant energy. Now, how you feel about the situation is you feel the devil, a little bit more information, please, with the eight of cups. I feel like you're highly um, emotionally um, attached to this person, possibly a Pisces. Um, there's a level of structure here or a level of attachment that you have that you know you need to walk away from, but you're having a really, really hard time with it. it you feel like you're being stuck. And then here's the high priestess. You know, intuitively, I feel like, you know, um, you do know that this situation is a negative one, Cancer, or you do know that there are some attachments here that aren't necessarily ones that you need or ones that you should have. But that's being honest with yourself and acknowledging that, right? Um, high Priestess is what? Uh, Taurus or Cancer. Um, and that all has to do with emotions and instinct. It, it's like you know that there is this attachment here. Is this with a certain person? The Queen of Wands, okay? Maybe you guys are dealing with, like I said, a fire sign because now, you know, she's popped up twice here. And this could also be too, you know, if you are dealing with a man, maybe, you know, he's coming off as the Queen of Wands because you have more of a um, masculine energy or it could be that he's just somebody that's very nurturing and caring and giving and that type of thing. Um, okay. One more card. Yeah, okay. So I think that you have a problem here. I think that there's probably um, more than one person involved, especially with the double, how we have the two different people. Um, you know, the four of wands, that's definitely two different people on a beach, but I do feel like for whatever reason, it's like you could possibly be giving to more than one person right now, cancer, or it's like you're investing. You want to invest in one person, but the problem is, is you're the only one that's doing this investing, which ultimately makes you know that you need to walk away from the situation because things aren't changing. This person is only, you know, allowing you to invest in them without completely investing in you. Why is this the hope or fear for cancer? Why? The sun? Okay. So this person possibly can make you really, really happy. Um, this can be somebody who is a Leo. You know, that's definitely kind of screaming strongly here for you, cancer. Whoa. With the emperor. Five of wands, page of cups. There's a decision that has to be made here, and it's it, it's the decision that's best for everybody involved, including your kids, including your family. And I feel like for whatever reason, it, it is going to end up being where you do have to let somebody go, leave somebody behind in order to have that forward movement away from it. Because for whatever reason, as good as something feels for this very moment, it still brings you back to this five of cups. 
And I feel like that's why you're worried. You're worried that you have this high of the sun, right? But then it's, it's matched with the low of the five of wands. You see what I'm saying? And this is also a uh, Leo energy as well. So Cancer, those of you guys that this has made enough sense and you guys have enough clarity, awesome. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.